Hello, magandang umaga, magandang hapon at magandang gabi sa lahat ng mga nanonood. Um, we welcome you to our show for today. At ang aming um, scripture for the day is uh, Ephesians 5, verse 15 to 16. At ang title po ng aming show is Redeeming the Time. So our main scripture would be um, digested and explained and yes, um, uh -huh. more from Tita Sally. Yes. Amen. Do you want to read that scripture? Yeah. So it is yes. 5, so 15 in, and 16. NIV translation, it says, Be very careful then how you live, not as unwise but as wise, making the most of every opportunity because the days are evil. Amen. Amen. So the reason that I chose this, uh, you know, like uh, this topic, uh, you know, basically like, you know, as you know, like, you know, we as Christians recently, we just uh, celebrated Rosh Hashanah, right? Like, you know, it's basically the new year for the Hebrews, right? And like as Christians being adopted, you know, to, uh, to you know, to Israel being, you know, like uh, spiritually adopted, you know, like through the death of Christ, we are also celebrating this year, amen, with them and rejoicing. And it's a, such a great year, you know, like this year in the Hebrew calendar, it's actually like, you know, the year 5785. And one of the scriptures for this year is Ephesians 5, 15 and 16. So, but like, you know, before I ask our brother Arthur to read, you know, like our scripture in a different, you know, translation, uh, I would like us to like, you know, understand what does it mean? Like, you know, redeeming the time, right? Mm -hmm. So like, uh, basically it's actually a biblical concept that refers to living wisely mm -hmm. and making the most of every opportunity for God's glory. So it's a biblical context concept right that like you know we need to like live wisely amen and making the most of every opportunity not like you know for ourselves but for the glory of god we need to understand that the reason that we are here is because of god god has created us and god is the one that has the purpose so but just before like you know i continue with that theme you know let me ask our uh, brother arthur to read like you know um ephesians 5 15 and 16 on the the passion translation okay. ahead, so arthur. be very careful how you live not being like those with no understanding, but live honorably with true wisdom, for we are living in evil times. Mm -hmm. Take full advantage of every day as you spend your life for His purposes. Amen. To like, you know, using our lives for His purposes. purposes. We are familiar, like, you know, with the verse in Jeremiah 29, 11, right? Like, you know, it says there, you know, for I know the plans I have for you, plan to prosper you and not to harm you, to give you a purpose, to give you, uh, like, you know, uh, a purpose, right? Mm -hmm. Like, you know, so God is the one that created us and like he has created us for a specific purpose. And, you know, the reason that, like, you know, it is important that we understand this because apart from living our lives in the purposes of God, we will never feel, uh, you know, accomplished. We will never feel fulfilled. We will not have, you know, joy in our lives because He is the one that created us. So, um, a lot of people, they seem to be like, you know, successful in the, you know, like the world sense, right? Like, you know, how the world looks at success. But mm -hmm. in spite of that, they remained empty mm -hmm. in their lives. Mm -hmm. So the only way that we would find completeness and fulfillment is living like, you know, the way, God's way and like fulfilling the very purpose, the reason why God has created us. So now, like, you know, what is this like, redeeming the time? What does it actually mean, like, you know, to redeem the time? So um, one of, uh, like, you know, the, uh, the negative or, like, n the wrong interpretation of redeeming the time is it's not actually, like, you know, better calendar management or better time management, mm -hmm. right? It's actually not like that. So, like, you know, in, uh, you know, like in the Bible, so when we, when we say, like, you know, um, we uh, redeem, you know, like the time, you know, like it's 
actually saying like living faithfully in light of the coming of Christ, our mm -hmm. Savior. So we need to recognize that like, you know, redeeming the time happens close, you know, like to like, you know, how we would understand like in terms of the light and the word of God, mm -hmm. you know, like in the in our lives. So like, um, and we need to acknowledge first that like, you know, the, uh, the Lordship, you know, of God, like in our lives for us to be able to do it like wisely. We may be able to like, you know, do things like, you know, productively. Because like, you know, how we understand like, you know, uh, good time management, right? Like, you know, uh, uh, the way we define it is like, you know, oh, we are account be able to accomplish more. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, being Productive. able to like, you know, put a check mark mm -hmm. on every to-do list. But even though, like, you know, we think that we accomplish more, but if those are the things that God doesn't want us mm -hmm. to do, they don't really count. So, right? So, like, you know, what do you think are, like, you know, also some of the ways, Bana, that, like, you know, we are, you know, like, in this time management that is not actually, like, you know, pleasing God. Yeah, so when you, when you think of redeeming, when you say the word redeeming, I think of, you have to redeem something because of time that yes. was lost. Uh -huh. Yes, right? exactly. So when you redeem, you want to regain mm -hmm, something. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, so it's more like making up for something or yes. saving up for something. Yes, yes. So um, usually like when you spend your time on things that are not of God, it's like wasted time. And like mm -hmm, you said, mm -hmm. you can do so much, but mm -hmm. what does it mean to, to your spiritual walk or how does it... Um, advance your relationship with God. Yes. How does it make it stronger? Yes. You know, if it's not, you know, if, if it's not God's will. Yes, and if yeah. it's not in alignment if to, like, not, you know, uh -huh, exactly. to the plan of God. Yes, very, very true. Like, you know, redeeming the time, like, you know, you're buying back. Buying and the back. only way that we would be able to do that, like, you know, it's actually not through us, but it's the work of God, mm -hmm. the work of the Holy Spirit, right? Like, you know, because we were living in sin. Mm -hmm. So first of all, and there's no way for us to, like, you know, be able to, like, you know, get, uh, redo, redo our lives in our yeah. own way but God is go is the one that gives us like parang a reset button mm -hmm. like you know yeah. parang in the computer right like kapag ka infect this eh, eh, na infect ng virus yung computer mo so you need to reboot right yeah. so like mm -hmm. how do you think like you know the world works Arthur like rebooting rebooting meaning like you're resetting everything mm -hmm. to resetting uh -huh, that's a good in, one in our for, in our base like for us when we apply reset meaning to like reassess, yes. kumbaga mm -hmm. na, like oh, I think there are some things that we can remove that is not really yes. necessary. Yes, mm -hmm. clean yes. up like to clean, clean up. up. Yes, yes, yes. And one of the things that like you know we actually reboot, like like as you have said, like you know you clean up, right? Mm -hmm. So like you know that's rebooting. Like it's as actually you start with a clean <laughs> slate, <laughs> right? Like you know a, you're a new one, and that's what basically like you know what Christ brings to mm -hmm. us, right? Because like you know we, uh, when we were born here on earth, like you know even though like you know we were barely born, we are already sinners mm -hmm. because we already like inherited that from Adam and Eve. Mm -hmm. So, and the Bible said in Romans 6, 23, that the wages of sin is death. So now like, you know, you're already like, you know, buried. You have not started, but you're already like, you know, infested, right? Mm -hmm. By sin. But like, you know, because of what the Lord Jesus Christ has done on the cross, you have the opportunity to be redeemed. So in fact, like, you know, when you acknowledge the Lord Jesus Christ in your life, you are, you know, like Christ redeem you yeah. you know like he paid the penalty for our sin but also like you know with that redemption is giving us a new start a new right. beginning right mm -hmm. so we are given like you know the opportunity to be able to do you know the things that actually God has already planned even before we were born you know mm -hmm. like for us to be able to do it mm -hmm. right so yeah yeah like so. the pre you've previous verses in that scripture that it says mm -hmm. and in verse 8 Mm -hmm. um, for you were once um, yes. darkness, uh -huh. but now you uh -huh. are light in the Lord. Yes. Like, live as children of light. So Amen. like God has redeemed mm. you out of that darkness exactly. and brought you to light. So And he's not one to keep your records of wrongs. Mm -hmm. So like you said, 
resetting you're rebooting like you're cleaning up it's like repenting so oh, now yes. now once you've repented you turn away from it 180 degrees so now you're not who you were before but you are Amen. now a new uh -huh. creation yes yeah. yes yeah. yeah second corinthians 5 17 right so you're you know like uh, you are a new creation yeah. in christ amen so like another thing that like you know redeeming time is not is like you know not continually living in sin mm -hmm. as you have said like diba like you know when you reboot the computer are you going to download again Viruses. those things that would infest <laughs> it right no. diba? not not anymore you yeah. are now yeah. careful the way mm. you live right mm -hmm. so even though like we are still in this body like of course you know like uh, we will still sin but like you know we are going to guard our yes. life and like you know we plan our life in such a way that it like you know glorifies god right yeah. and by the help of the holy spirit you know like he guides us and leads us to the right path and like mm -hmm. convicts us of sin like you know Remember, like, yes. you know, like, in terms of, like, you know, mga choices or, like, mga th things that is not pleasing to the Lord, you know, the Holy Spirit would actually prompt us, like, okay, mm -hmm. don't do that. You know, even like, before, like, it's happening. Like, yeah. in the computer, it would warn us that it can hurt the hardware. Yes, yeah. yes, yes. And like, exactly, yeah, like, you know, a, like, um, the role of the Holy Spirit, uh -huh, like, you know. Same thing. So, uh -huh, same thing. Like, but it's up to us. The choice is still, you know, like, up to us. Mm -hmm. Because we need to make that decision, decision. that choice to, to choose the right thing in the same way, like, you know, okay, even though sometimes there's already that warning, mm -hmm. you know, if you don't hear that warning, then you're gonna end up like you know polluting again mm -hmm. you know your computer yeah. on our in our own demand like you know polluting our bodies mm -hmm. yes so like yeah so that's you know like the other thing you know like um and another time that thing that we can do is like you know okay so redeeming time means that like you know our thinking is now is not like you know only like advancement and productivity but like you know but basically you know like uh, the ho holiness mm -hmm. you know so that's the primary because sometimes you know we think that like you know oh i need to be you know productive that's how we you know we think of like you know we are being accomplished but like you know it's only secondary like you know so which means that our priority should be our relationship mm -hmm. with god oh, that reminds me of mary and martha yes uh -huh. <laughs> how, yes. how she, she chose to prepare mm -hmm. for the coming of the visitors and god um, in jesus christ while mary sat chose to sit and listen mm -hmm and spend time with, with the Lord. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yes, it doesn't mean that Mar what Martha is doing is not important, it's, but it's really like, you know, giving the priority, like, you know, what's more important. Because mm -hmm. the preparation can come later, right? Like, yeah. you know, okay, so like, you know, this is a time that you, you hear the word of God, that's an opportunity, and that is such a privilege, and you don't want to miss that, mm -hmm. right? And then like, you know, service follows. Because now like, you know, after you have been encouraged by the word of God, you are being strengthened. Now you are able to do service, like, you know, with even more greater, like, you know, strength, mm -hmm. right? And like, you know, you are positioned in a right place. So, yeah, more, it, more God glorifying than self glorifying. Yes, you're working not with your strength, but with God's but strength. But God's strength that you've just received. Yeah. Uh huh. Yes, and then also another. You know, there's a saying like you know sometimes we're so busy for the kingdom that we forget the king. So the, the actually the reason that we're doing you know like all this service is for the king. Yeah. But then like you know like in a family, right? You can be so busy, like, you know, cleaning, cooking, and these are all for the family. But then you're not building relationship with one another because all your time was spent, like, you know, cleaning, cooking, you know, whatever the other chores you are doing. And those are actually, like, you know, expressions of love. But, like, you know, there's nothing more important than building actually a real relationship. And real relationship is like, you know, happens when you actually spend time with one another. So mm -hmm. it's the same thing with the Lord, right? Like, you know, He wants relationship with us. That's the difference between like, you know, religion and like Christianity, you know? 
So religion is based on like, you know, rituals and things that you, you need to do or not to do, right? Yeah. But Christianity is based on or like built in a relationship with God. And that's what God has been desiring of us, to have mm -hmm. a relationship with us. And that's what we are supposed to be desiring as well, right. to have a relationship with the Lord. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, so, so like, like, you know, and another thing that like, you know, we cannot like, you know, redeem time is like, you know, um, by like fixing work, uh, like, you know, trying to focus on worldly goals. Mm -hmm. So that is not like, you know, pleasing to the Lord, like, you know, again, you know, like doing, you know, being accomplished in terms of career, right? right? Like, yes. or trying to like make more money. Like, you know, a lot of people, they have two jobs, you know, like, I was surprised when I came here in America, I said, like, huh, they have two jobs, three jobs, you know, like, I've known of some people, they have three jobs, they don't, you know, they just come home, like, you know, it's like visiting their family, yeah. and most of their time, they're at work, like, you know, from one job to another job to another job, they are able to buy, like, you know, big houses, but they, they cannot even enjoy the house that they bought but they need to work so that they're able to pay for the house that right. they bought and that's mm -hmm. really sad you know diba like you know that's really sad so what else can you like you know think about that like you know arthur like how do we like you know set up like worldly goals that are actually like you know not pleasing to god or for me but uh, i think it's more on like discernment like Mm -hmm. If it's gonna be, if it's gonna glorify the Lord, or if it, if this job will not hinder your the way you, with the way you serve the Lord or the way you worship the Lord, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like on Sundays, like some people who would yes. would choose to work rather than attend the uh -huh. church service, uh -huh. That's very true, yes. like, you know, even like, you know, with Christians, we need to be, because that's the deception of the enemy. You know, they're replacing a Sunday worship with, oh, I go to Bible study, the money. Like, you know, I do like, you know, Bible study on weekdays, then that should already like, you know, supplement. You know, like my feeding, but it's not like that, right? Like, you know, it's good that we have Bible study during, you know, like midweek. And that's additional, like, you know, uh, means for us to grow our walk with the Lord. But it doesn't mean that, you know, we can neglect or we can excuse not being in church on Sunday. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a really mm -hmm. good example. And, you know, like, uh, you know how the devil, like, works. Especially like, you know, in the medical field, you know, like when you work night shift or when you work mm -hmm. like, you know, on weekends, there's like differential, right? Like, you yeah, know, the rate is rate different time. from like a regular week. So no the temptation, yes, the temptation is actually yeah. there. And like, you know, Satan is very effective in using that. Yes. So as Christians, we need to be discerning and, you know, like uh, we need to, you know, like uh, be able to see this clearly. Mm -hmm. Like, that's the deception of the enemy, mm -hmm. right? Because, like, you know, we're thinking, we're gaining more, but yes. we're actually losing more. Mm -hmm. Pero, Tita, it's not really, like, uh, it's not, there's nothing wrong with, like, working, but as long as it's not gonna hinder or... Yes, It's exactly. not gonna affect your service uh -huh. to the Lord. Mm -hmm. But, like, like in, in, reality, in reality, actually, like, you know, Sabbath day, you know, like, uh, you should, like, you know, uh, really... Uh, concentrate like you know offer that to the Lord you know so uh, it's for God you know so yeah like it, it, for, but like you know for as long as you have said you know like you have dedicated this time you know you're not compromising it you know like it's for the Lord mm -hmm. and you know like it's between you and God mm -hmm. yeah so praise God oh, okay I want you to read uh, John chapter 9 verse 4 so there like you know it's saying there that like you know we need to be working, like, you know, or busy doing the things that God wants us to do. Mm -hmm. Can you read that? Okay. While I am with you, it's daytime, and we must, and we must do the works of God, mm -hmm. who sent me while the light shines. Yes. So doing the works of God, who sent, you know, like, so Jesus is basically speaking here, who sent me while it is day. So mm -hmm. night is coming when no one can work mm -hmm. so remember we're not gonna be here on earth forever mm -hmm. so there's only like a limited time that we are here and like you know we will give an account to the lord so and as i've said earlier like you know uh, there is a purpose so are we living god's purpose for our lives with the mm -hmm. limited time that god has given us right mm -hmm. so that's one thing and then like you know uh 
And like as you have mentioned earlier, ban like you know about like redeeming the time is like you know uh, basically we are given the opportunity to be able to regain mm -hmm. what we have lost. Can you also read Colossians four five? Do you have that in, ano? is that an NIB? Colossians, Colossians 4.5. Oh, Colossians 4.5. 4.5, NIV. Okay. okay, ito po. Yeah. Be wise in the way you act towards outsiders. Make the most of every opportunity. Yes, make the most of every moment you have right now. So, But like in another translation, it says there, do everything you can to make up for lost territory. Mm -hmm. So what like, you know, what uh, we have lost because like, you know, maybe during that time we are not Christians yet or we're, you know, like, uh, so then like, you know, we have lost the yeah. opportunity. Like, like restore you know, relationship, yes, forgive exactly. one another. Yes, yes. Yeah, That's right. Uh -huh. yeah. And also like, like, you know, we are given some opportunities, but because we are not with the Lord, we miss those opportunities. Sure. God is going to redeem it. Like, you know, God is going to bring about that another opportunity so that we will have a chance to actually work for Him for that opportunity that mm -hmm. we have missed. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's really, like, you know, uh, great. So, um, and then, like, you know, in fact, like, can you also read Ecclesiastes band? Ecclesiastes Chapter 12, verse 13. Ecclesiastes mm -hmm. 12, 14? 12, 13. 12, 13. So it says in NIV, Now all has been heard. Here is the conclusion of the matter. Fear God and keep His commandments, for this is the duty of all mankind. Amen. So like, you know, our first responsibility is to fear God. Mm -hmm. And everything else follows. Yeah. You know, like everything else that we've been desiring and like, you know, looking forward is like, you know, when we have like, you know, establish a right relationship with God and then like, you know, we nurture that relationship with the Lord. He's the one like, you know, leading us to the right decision because sometimes, you know, the choices is not between bad and good. Mm. But it, we, it is between good and better or best. Like, you know, it's even between good, better, and best. And sometimes it's really difficult, yes, right? It's yes. like, you know, okay, this one is like, it's good. It's not evil. It's, you're not committing sin. But this one, like, seems to be like, you know, a better option. But actually, God has planned for you the best. Mm -hmm. You know, and it's unless, like, you know, we have the discernment from the Holy Spirit and be really, really sensitive yeah. to His leading, we, might, we may be able to like miss that opportunity. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so like, you know, okay, like redeeming the time again, like, you know, these are just like, you know, the wrong ways of interpreting it, but also like, you know, redeeming the time is like, you know, how can we manage our time wisely? Yeah. Especially in this age and this generation, like, you know, technology, right? Social media, you know, those are actually time wasters. You know, like, uh, it's so yeah, amazing sometimes that we can be sitting in front of a television for nice. hours but like neglecting our time with the Lord or like, you know, time in prayer. And then sometimes, you know, like uh, study, you reading the word of God or meditating on the word of God. We rush on it, you know, like even on our prayers, right? Like, you know, but like, you know, sometimes like the social media, you know, uh, the social media technology is great. Mm -hmm. And it can be used for the furtherance of the kingdom of God. But if, you know, if social media takes us, you know, like and... You know, we are basically like, you know, uh, become servants of it. There's so many temptation in social media. Sometimes you're just checking your message. Suddenly, you're, you're looking, you're, you're too deep in there already, right? <laughs> right? Like, you know, all this notification, like, oh, like, you know, somebody posted about these things, you know, like, before you know it, you're already like one hour screening, right? So we need to like really be mm -hmm. careful so but just before like i think we are about to close yeah. is there anything like you know more that you can yeah <laughs> maybe share this scripture dita romans 12 2 uh -huh. it says do not be conformed to this world oh, yes. i feel like when you're not into the world you can uh make better choices yes. you can put your time on more godly things and yes. more for the kingdom Amen. instead of you know doing things that like you said being on social media um putting your time on like worthless things that will not benefit you or like would not um, like promote you up 
you know, mm -hmm. and build your relationship, your them, uh -huh. right? Yes. And it says, but be transformed by the renewal of your mind. Like set your things on not of the world, but like more in, more on kingdom mindset. Yes. Like, like how to produce like things of like to do for for God, maganon, yes. and that by testing you may discern what is the will of God. Mm -hmm. Like, um, but what is what is good and acceptable and perfect like we could be doing so many things but if it is not the will of god it's yes. not really like yes you know it's a waste it's time. a waste of yeah, time yeah. like you said mm -hmm. so that's a, that's uh like the main like takeaway like verse for me yes uh -huh. just to relate to this message but yes. yeah i think i think um this time especially this generation there's so many Things like X, TikTok, like um, Instagram yes. and YouTube. Facebook. Even with the little kids nowadays, they're so stuck on the iPad yes. because of what is shown on YouTube, which we don't even know if it's like healthy for their mind, like for yes. themselves, right? Mm -hmm. So yes. the influence of the world. But. Yes, amen. There's still like, you know, more to discuss on this, like, you know, but it's really, really important. But like, you know, we are crushed with time right now. So we're just going to close in prayer. Amen. So, Lord, we thank you for this time that you have given us to be able to study your word and, like, you know, the wisdom that you're giving us, Lord, that we need to redeem the time. Thank you, Lord, for the opportunity that, like, you know, because of your work, the finished work of Christ on the cross of Calvary, Lord, you are giving us another chance, another day, O oh Lord God, to walk with you and to be able, Lord, to live for you, O oh Lord God. Lord, we pray for those people that are watching, like, you know, this, uh, Lord, uh, teaching, O oh Lord God, that you will also speak to them and that you will give them you know the wisdom oh lord jesus and the guidance of the holy spirit to say yes to you and to be able to say no lord to the things that is not pleasing to you we thank you lord and we give you praise in jesus name amen, amen.